Hey friends! Linda Who. I'm playing the Stanley Parable. I don't know much about this game. Uh, I know it's basically mindfucked, and I know that it's a narrative. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Oi! Oh, I'm Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on Beep. the keyboard. Boop. Orders came to Beep. him through a Boop. monitor on his desk. Beep. Tell Boop. him what buttons Beep. to push, Boop. how long to Beep. push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although Beep. others Boop. might have considered Beep. it so winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Boop beep. And Yay, then I'm one happy. day, something very peculiar happened. No, I'm something not. Something that would forever change Stanley. Oh. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his Is desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Oh, hey. All right. I guess I'm playing now. Clicky? Beep, boop, beep? Nope, nothing. Can I phone? Nope, okay. Can I jump? No. Or I'm just not pressing the right button. I mean, I'm assuming space bar would be jump. Okay. Venture to the world. Nope. Hello? All of his co-workers were gone. Janet? What could it mean? Stan Billy Bob? decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Janet! Oh man. What's that say? Okay, crouch? No. I... I... I can't. I can't tell what that says. Oop. Personal things. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Who? Damn it! I can't read these mugs. This guy just has a pencil sharpener. Man, that sucks. Whoa! Bright. Nope. Copier. Oop. Flat paper under a desk. Hello, planty. Oh! I did something. Oh no! Can't undo it. How do I jump? Jump on here? Hmm. Anyways. Whoa, this guy has two mugs. Do I have a mug? 427. Alright. Rude. <laughs> I want one of these mugs. I get nothing. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Jesus? Nor did it advance the story in any way. God? Buddha? That's a nice picture. Beep boop. Hmm. Oh, someone's a messy Marvin. Touch. 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 Insert 50 million jokes here. Oh, hey! I'm on top of something. Oh. Why'd that happen? Why? Oh, phew. I was gonna die. Anything in here? Anything here? Oh, what about Stanley clicked on literally every single door in the office. Yeah. Because he doesn't pick up well on cues from uh, his environment. Well, you're rude. Rude Buddha. Hey! 
I hate... I hate Mondays! Because I'm Garfield. Oh! <sighs> Janet. When will you clean up after yourself? 416? Well, you know what? God, Buddha, Zeus, Mike. I can't. I can't. I don't when know. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. But I don't like left. Can I? Can I go to the? Anything over here? Nope. Can I go to the right? I'm gonna. I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go to the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and uh -oh. Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Not really. I mean, is there free coffee? Down for coffee. All right. Nothing happened. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. Memo it pad. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. I would rather be drinking coffee in, but whatever. Okay, can't can't do any of that. Coffee. Yes, really, really worth it being here. Coffee. In the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. You know, I don't I don't like this tone you're giving me, Mike. I really don't appreciate it. You're not Buddha anymore, you're Mike. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected <laughs> poorly on his overall personality. I... It's possible that this is why everyone left. Hey! Hey! It wasn't because of me. Not creepy. It's coffee. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Well, aren't we just being a little self-observant? Dollar twenty-five. All right, fine. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. It had coffee. This door? What is with you and doors on the left? I don't want to go on the door left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Rude. Hmm. Go in here? Hmm. Jump up? I don't know how I jumped on the desk, it just happened. You know, jump from the cargo lift while in motion. What? How are you gonna find me? Five thousand dollars for dying. Oh, oh shit! But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Son of a bitch. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. I don't... <sighs> Damn it. So... You know how most games have those invisible walls? All of his co-workers were gone. Shut up, you! What could it mean? Shut up. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Shut Perhaps up. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Shut up. Alright, so you know how most things have, like, invisible boundaries to stop you from killing when yourself? Stanley came to a set of two open doors... You know what? I don't like your tone, so I'm going to write. Fuck you. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. I want more Perhaps coffee. he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. And get coffee. Wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous Pick room. Pick up the coffee. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life without having experienced this room was now too horrible even to consider. I hate you, Mike. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Middle finger, middle finger. Stanley was so Go fuck bad yourself. following directions. Go it's fuck yourself. He wasn't five years ago. Go fuck yourself. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. 
I'm not your enemy. This, really, this is giving me a portal I flashback. That investing in your trust in someone else um, can be difficult. I don't. But the fact is, I don't. The story has been I don't. About nothing but uh, you. Oh, what? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you no. convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yes. Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. No. To show you something beautiful. Look, no. Let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Nope. Give me a chance. Nope. See, last time I was on one of those things and someone was talking to me that I couldn't see. It was in Portal and it was Gladys and she was bringing me to my fiery death. So, yeah. I don't, I don't like what, first of all, I don't like when voices talk to me in my head. Second of all, I don't like when voices can control shit and try to kill me. So, not a fan. And I didn't get coffee. What do we have here? Nope. It's boarded up. Okay. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Can I punch it? It's fragile. Nope. Alright. Moving on. Where am I? Warning, do not stand on this side of the I don't Mind fuck, don't want to. Okay. Oh. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. But it's still on the left, and now it's red. Like those are two bad things. How about this door? Um no. I don't trust you still. Uh -huh. Oh, what Perhaps you misunderstood. Wow. Stanley walked through the red door. So you're 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 a little impatient. Um no. Thank you. And what's wrong? Oh my god! Communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> um if you, uh, 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 nope. If you, if you really want me to go through the red door, why wouldn't you just make the blue door disappear? Like, apparently you're God, so apparently you can just do that. So I'm just gonna go to the blue door again. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. Thank you. You want to know so badly what's out there? You yes. want to find out what lies at the end of this road? You've yes. chosen well, don't let me stop you. Thank you. You see, there's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you oh. were never supposed to be here in the first place. Awkward. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Nope. Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Kinda. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Yep. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? Pretty colors. What did you want to see? Vehicles? Nah. Skill trees? Yes. Work with me. You give me absolutely like nothing trees. so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. Okay. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Whoa. Go ahead, Feeling Stanley. Light. Take it for a spin. I really, I really want to, but I'm scared you're gonna kill me. All right, fuck it. I like the orange. Okay, I'm going to stop what? you there now. Tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. You suck. Um. A four? Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Clearly there's something here that speaks to you. If I can be honest You're speaking here, to me. I really don't have any idea where I'm going with this. This whole third door thing was just a stab in the dark. But I guess you're into it, so let's <laughs> keep this party train rolling. Here, based on the data from your I previous like your lingo. playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Oh. What are I leaderboard?
Hold me. How many endings? 21.3. Wow. Rude. Only the worst 3% of players. You. Stanley427. Well, fuck you, too. Why not ask for some friends' help? Your friends. Whoa, whoa! That is a that is a severe Gladys vibe going on. A dead rat is offline. Is better than me. He is my superior. You're a douche. You're a douche mobile. Good old Neil, Skid, not Nico Nacho, Bola, Hargotha, Mr. Hayes, awesome, Goldenrod, ah! And bam. Mussolini! Mussolini's better than me. Alright, well. I'm gonna go through this door again. Now. Would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. It made me motivated to tell you to go fuck yourself. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. Really? You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Does it matter? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Nope. Because you are Jesus, God, Buddha, Mike. In this oh, game, baby. the baby crawls left oh, towards baby. danger. You click the button to move him back to the right. Why is that a white and baby? If he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. What All if? about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. Oh. I think the art world will really take notice. Are you sure? But of course, the message of the game looks like a white cardboard baby. Once you've been playing it for about four hours. So nope. why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's a fire? Be nope. sure to keep notes on your experience. So I'm gonna let the baby burn. Bye. You heartless bastard. <laughs> Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? A little bit. Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience. A bit, for a me. bit of 50 50, be I'm honest. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. You're leaving? I'm done. Wait. It's over. Wait. Thank you for playing. Wait. Your input was extremely valuable. Wait. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Don't have a Let's temper see. tantrum. What do we have here? Can we mm -mm. play Far Cry? Mm -mm. Yes. I like Far Cry. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Far Cry 4! I don't like your temper tantrum. Whoa! Well, Stanley, is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. Minecraft. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. I want to pick the flower. Could it ever be I want to. Well, I'll say I want to do stuff. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Oh my Watch God, this, you're Stanley. so pretentious. I'm going to build a house. You're oh, ha! look at you. Look at you building. This will go here. No, here. And then. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your little house. Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course. And I'm going to go in it. Finish it all I want to go in it. Yes. I want to go in it. It's complete. I want to go in your house. I made this standing. Look at it. Gaze upon it's my It's a very work of art nice and house. Feel ashamed now let me in at it. your own inadequacy. Hey. Hey. Ah, but you've only you know, seen it really? from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please. Really? Step inside and make yourself comfortable. You know what? It's a house made out of dirt. Okay. Okay, I can do that. Isn't it grand? Isn't it's it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's I, it. I can stand. We must rebuild it out yes. of diamond. Diamond! Diamond everything. The diamond yes, yes, yes. in the Come sky. Come on, Stanley. We have to go mining. Diamond! We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz, to go and get some diamonds. Oh, there's the music! Can I go do other stuff? Tree! Oh, I can't jump. Alright, I guess it's downward. Do I get fall damage? 
That's a lot oh of my. smooth stone. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? Wait, there's some... There's some coal. We can make a torch. I've done this. I'm a seasoned Minecraft player. I can build things. Oh, no, 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 no. This Iron. is far more open-ended than I had in but mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and no. linear. But something that makes you feel fall damage. utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. No, one out no, of five. no, no. Oh. Even the diamonds could save this one. Okay, new game. Oh, God, there's spiders. Oh. Nope. Okay. Where are we going now, Jesus? Zeus? Buddha? You know what? You're just Mike. You're a god named Mike. What the world? Oh no. Oh no. Oh yes. no. I don't even know what this game is, but oh, no. I love it. I know you this game. In a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's I inspiring. knew you were Gladys. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? My hell. I'll figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Swing down the toilet. Let's go find Come here. out what the hell this is. I want to stuff things in the toilet. Coffee! Even in the hell, there's coffee. You know what, Mike? Oh no, my coffee mug! You know what, Mike? I'm glad we're here. You're gonna meet Gladys. And you know what? Maybe you two can go have crazy science loving story writing babies together and leave me the hell alone oh, companion cube it's a puzzle companion Critical cube thinking stanley you're Compan oh you're not companion cube blah yes I like this game. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much wow. if you stumble through any more of these games. And I highly doubt you're any wiser Ooh. for the experience. You're rude Which as is fuck. why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. Wow. You can Ooh. pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer for you, but as for me, I've had enough. So, why don't you get cozy in this room, and if you have any grand but revolutionary ideas for the perfect video game, you can just sit there and let it ball up inside you for all eternity. But I want to tell you. I don't need your advice. Yes, you do. I don't need your ratings. Yes, you do. And I certainly don't need the validation of a man whose job is to push buttons. I think I'll just yes, go about do. my business, making meaningful cultural contributions to the world. No, and perhaps no, 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 no. every now and then, I'll think back to a man named Stanley who was objectively wrong in every decision he ever made. Nah. The thought won't last long. Goodbye, Stanley. Bye, Good Mike. Good luck with your work. And I sincerely hope that everyone lives happily ever after. No, you don't. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. Oh, Mike. You little rascal. Do you want me to jump in the hole, Mike? I'll jump in the hole for you. Uh-oh. Am I gonna die? Nope. Oh. Okay. Um. Filing cabinets. Work in progress. Alright, well. Oh! Oh, no! What just... Where am I? What? What happened? Mike! Mike! Mike, I need your help! Ooh. This did not go well. I guess Mike's game didn't work out. Mike! 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 Mike? Alright, Michael. Stop having your temper tantrum and come help me. Hey, Mike! It's your doors! Oh, 420. Hey, Mike! Mike, I found your doors. I like this light. Hey, look, my room. These work still. Hmm. 
Nice computer setup. All right, well, bye room. Must touch everything. Oh. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Oh, stopping so pretentious. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. Oh, That Michael. is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. Michael. I can wait. Michael. 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 Oh, Michael. What? What? My I hate Monday's cup. Beep boop beep. What? Why am I here? All of his co-workers. Oh are gone. God! Not again. Stanley decided oh, more to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <sighs> All right. That's enough for this episode. <sighs> I now understand the mindfuck part right now. Well, friends, this is episode one of Stanley Parable. I got to play Portal. I got to play Minecraft. And I got to make a baby burn. So, you know, all in all, good day, good day. Uh, met my new BFF, Mike. He's, like, in the sky. Um, we're working through some issues, but I think we can really make this work. Okay. Until next time. Bye, friends.